Hi everyone, and welcome back to Hustle Performance YouTube channel. Today, we're actually gonna be unboxing and having a play with SCT's brand new BDX device. This new BDX device is designed for all late model 2018 plus Mustang GT and Mustang EcoBoost. In this video, we're actually going to use SCT's BDX device, plug it into our Mustang, head on back down to the boys at Herod's, put it on their mainline hub dyno again, and see what sort of power we gained out of SCT's tune. Before we begin, one of the reasons that we have selected SCT's BDX device is it actually saves the stock file from the vehicle. So when you download SCT's custom tune into your car, it will actually take a complete copy of your stock file, which allows you to return your car back to stock conditions at any time, if you do choose to do so. All right, let's open the box and see what's inside. Thank you, Milwaukee. Safety first, we'll close it up. Cool. See here, this is end user. So we don't need that. Warranty, don't need that. Nice touch, but we'll put this aside for now. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. All right, SCT's brand new BDX device. Actually looks like a bit of an iPhone to be honest, but hey, it's gonna be interesting to get this plugged in, see what sort of power we can get out of the car. We'll keep unboxing. Cool, this is our OBD connector. This is physically the cable that we will use to connect to the device and then connect to the vehicle. USB cable. And thank you guys, everyone loves free stickers. All right, so in the box, we've got the SCT BDX device, the OBD2 connection cable, as well as USB cable. Now we've actually seen what's in it. Let's get it plugged in, let's get it powered up, let's get it tuned down, loaded into the car. All right, we've come on back down to Herod Performance today with our 2019 Mustang GT, and we've loaded it onto their mainline hub dyno once again. We've done this because today we plan on using SCT's BDX device and downloading the preloaded file. The BDX device is what we unboxed with you earlier today. Before we begin, we wanted to make sure our power figures were the same or different from where they were at earlier. Previously brand new, the car ran 284 rehub kilowatts. I want to put it back on today, give it a base power run, then load the SCT file. This will give us a true indication of what sort of power we've really gained. We've plugged the device in, it's powered itself up, and it's loaded saying, program vehicle. What we're gonna do is scroll down to vehicle info using the up and down arrows. Circle button, we're going to hit select on vehicle info. It says turn key on. Being a Mustang, what we're gonna do is hit the start button once, and then circle button for select to continue. Right now what the device is doing is sending an information request to the vehicle. It's saying, hey, what sort of car are you? Cool, right now it's come up vehicle info. We've got the VIN number and we know what exact program is running in this factory car. Now we're gonna hit exit, disconnect the device, head on over to the laptop using the BDX device and SCT's device update software. We're going to see what tunes are available for our car. One step I've already done is downloaded SCT's device updater software. We're now going to connect the BDX device to the supplied USB cable and wait for the device to power up. The sound in the background, we could tell that the PCs detected the actual BDX device. Now the device is powered up, we're gonna click on automatically check for updates. This is gonna send information that the device just scanned from the vehicle to SCT server to see what files are actually available for our car. Right now, the PC screen's already changed and he's saying identifying device. Green bar's gone across 
and the words have actually come up, getting vehicle info. Perfect. The software has come up saying 2019 Ford VIN. It's then actually listed our VIN number and then put the words after it, supported. At the bottom, it says device needs to be updated. So we're going to click on update device. Now we'll wait for the process. This is when the software is now downloading to the device the relevant tunes we have available for our car. Perfect, that's finishing up. It's come up saying validating device. And that's what we want to see. Device is up to date. It's given us the total time of an update time of one minute and 43 seconds. We'll now click exit, disconnect the device from the PC, take the device back to the vehicle, plug it in and download our tune. All right, we've jumped back in the car after updating the device with the SCT device update software. And we're now going to download our preloaded file. We're gonna select program vehicle with the circle button in the middle. We're gonna confirm that we are connected to the vehicle. Device updates, we've already updated the device. So this time we're gonna go skip. It's asking us if we want a cloud sync. We don't need to do that in this process. Street use, this is a disclaimer. You can read through it. I've read it before, so I'm going to click continue. It's told us to turn the ignition back on. Again, being a Mustang, we're going to press the start button once. And we're gonna press the circle button for continue. Perfect. At the top, it tells us available preloaded tunes, 5.0 liter Mustang. We're gonna select that with the circle button. It's asked us if we have additional tune options or would like customization. We're going to select change just so we can actually see what parameters we've got. Being an Australian vehicle, we're going to select our fuel octane as 93 because that will allow us to run 98 octane fuel in this vehicle. It's asked us what airbox we have, intake airbox. We're gonna open that up and see what available options we have. For the 2018 Mustang onwards, SCT have given us the option for stock airbox or JLT plastic. We're going to select stock as we haven't done anything to the vehicle. It's then got some other options for global spark, speed limit, rev limiters, idle limiters, etc. We're not going to play with any of these. We're going to use what SCT have built and we're going to select approve by clicking on the right arrow. Circle button then for continue. Device is then setting up the file to get ready to download it into the car. This can be a little bit time consuming, so I'm not gonna hold it for the whole process. Beautiful thing about the SCT BDX device, I'll admit the cable hangs over the steering wheel. Devices come up saying finalizing tune, please wait. After this, it will actually start downloading the program into the vehicle. Device screen now says unlocking processor. Don't be alarmed when all of the lights, the dash, your center console, when everything turns off in the car. That's what we wanna see, writing tune. Do not turn ignition key off or disconnect device. While the tune's downloading into the car, fun fact about the SCT BDX device, this device can actually hold up to 10 custom tune files. I don't know why you'd necessarily need or want 10, but the device has the capability to hold that many for you. Awesome, programming complete. It then says, congratulations, your vehicle has been programmed. You may turn the key off now, enjoy. So we'll hit that start button, make sure it's not flashing, select the circum button, All right, we've loaded SCT's preloaded file, we've run the car on the dyno, and we've now got our power figures. The car's gone 305.7 rear hub kilowatts and just nudged over 500 newtons of torque. Got to admit, 
really happy with those results considering the car started with 296 kilowatts today. I'm sure we're gonna notice those nine kilowatts out on the road. So let's get the car off the dyno, out of the shop, on the road, and see what we can feel. All right, car's off the dyno. As always, thank you to our sponsors, Herod Performance, My Stang Mods, and Full Throttle Custom Garage. Don't forget, in the comments section below, start letting us know what you'd like to see in each episode. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going for a drive. Hustle Performance, driven by passion.